Hello guys, welcome back to the Matics of Life channel and this evening another pick a card about intuition. Let's check how good your intuition working at the moment, how can you improve it. Let's see everything about it. I will provide you with four different groups for this reading. And it's time to pick your avatar here, guys. So group number one will be represented by this beautiful tree card. I believe it's tree. Let me check the name. Yeah, that's three. Okay, group number two. Clovers with ladybugs. And number two as well. Number two for group number two. <laughs> group number three. Mm, okay, house, home, number four. And last one group, but not least, gonna be represented by the card um, bucket here, bucket of flowers by the card number nine here. Okay, dokey, guys. Let's get started with group number one. If you rooted for this card, if you love trees, and this one especially, let's see how good your intuition working at the moment. Are you? Mm, listening to it okay are you able to hear your intuition at the moment can you trust your intuition at the moment let's, let's ask this off let's ask group number one can you trust your intuition can you trust your intuition at the moment can you trust your intuition at the moment group number one can you trust it Communicate clearly. Unfortunately, there are some blockages here. With your intuition, some uh, blockages. Which blockages? Let's discover on the way. And let's ask tarot cards what's blocking your intuition here, guys. So what's blocking your intuition here, guys? What's blocking your intuition? Three of Wands. <laughs> What's blocking your intuition, guys, that um, you wait, you simply wait, you yourself blocking, you don't trust your intuition, you're trying to figure out, you're trying to prove something, and time spent um, on you waiting for some sort of proof, or more information, which gonna confirm something for you. While you're waiting, the opportunity is gone already because you didn't act upon it, because you didn't trust your intuition. You decided, okay, let's wait and see. You decided, no, I, I won't act. Let, let's wait and see. That's really strange here, guys. And I am seeing um, the, the biggest problem here you not able to ask a clear question it's like lately i had a client i had a client who came with a question is his girlfriend a gold digger or something like this let, let me see let me see this questions. It's, it's yeah, is she gold digger? What does she want in life? It's two, two different questions, babies. What she wants in life and they are not related. She, she might be a gold digger with a very beautiful wishes and wants. So, but in, in eyes of my clients, this um, two types of questions it's like supposed to answer it all to be like one no it's not working this way i um, learn how to communicate clearly is she gold digger is a simple yes or no question but what she wants in life um, it's it's totally different question okay <laughs> which might not be related to gold digging so guys
Okay, send it some message. Anyway, uh, you're not able to communicate clearly here. You uh, no, like you you want some guidance in your life, but you lost. Decide what you want, which answer you need to know what she wants in her life, or is she or he gold digger or not? Simply decide what you want to get, because I'm getting a chaos of, of such questions. And when the answer is coming, given by your, provided by your intuition, you don't know to which question attach this answer given you by your intuition. You simply don't know because it's, it's chaos of questions in your head. Learn how to ask a question. This is a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece. Uh, and each and every reader should master this art of asking right questions. In childhood, I was Mrs. Why? Why? Because I, I was constantly asking why. I've uh, My grandparents' brains with my constant why this? Why this? Why are we doing this? Why are we adding a butter to mashed potatoes? Why are we adding this one but not that one? Why it makes different flavors? I just and you know this helped me in my profession nowadays so figure it out with the questions in your head first of all next one uh, any external influences at your intuition external influences like maybe some bad juju dark magic uh, magic attacks uh, you know external nine of ones yeah something is uh, you know something is affecting your intuition from outside let me put two clarifiers to, to this knight of ones all right yes external like you know um your contacts, people you're surrounded with, they have a bit different temper than yours. Okay, let's see two cards. A moon and eight of wands. Yeah. And people who are around you asking you to make decisions in a rush. And that's not your... We already seen that that's not your way, taking uh, decisions in a rush here. Again the card of speed and the card of pulling uh, pulling uh, decisions away in decisive energy here this one waiting for everything happen itself and it's much stronger that's your energy but people around you they sort of have different tem temper and they are pushing you to respond quickly to the offers okay it's like I'm going to the movies next Sunday and uh, next Sunday only in a week but they need your answer right here right now and this is the simplest example here for you to understand but there might be decisions which more important than going to the movies um, which uh, have some impact over your life and they're pushing you to, to take decisions like this. From what I'm seeing, you really slow type here, like a turtle. And yeah, this extra time you're taking for yourself. Uh, again, you're taking this extra time because you lost, you, you're asking so many different questions which are not related in your mind. Um, and you know our subconscious it, it replies with some delays a little but delays and you asking 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 then some decision something your intuition is whispering to you and you sort of like wait uh, what I was asking about that I think uh, I, I feel like this now that what that I should do this or that uh, to which question I need to 
again this reminds me you know of water and uh, air um, primary elements if you haven't seen my videos on primary elements I, I invite you to to check this playlist but here guys like you have this chaos of questions in your mind mm. that's really 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 a lot let me respond to my client you, you see constantly i don't have time and you're asking me for blah 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 i simply don't have time and this is not late evening this is not late evening i'm recording this video and my client asking should she send an audio message or to type okay so here we go this chaos and again i was distracted so many times during your reading not by chance there is no such thing as coincidence remember this i was distracted so many times during your reading on my phone really so when you start in something oh you get an answer from your intuition but you forgotten what you was asking about what you were talking about what the hell is going on so this is blockages and your friends as well external people who require from you really fast 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 decisions here taking fast acting fast upon something like are you going to buy this or not um are you going to move here it's like when you searching for place to rent you come in and the agent asking so you sure you you want to and you maybe wish to check other apartments but they squeeze in the answer and and because you too hesitant and too many questions that when question about this apartment hitting your mind from subconscious like to to take this offer or not you already not sure anymore that this whispered about your apartment <laughs> okay what, what is um what inside you disconnects you from your intuition let's ask because from outside influence we already seen this is about other people with whom you hanging out and who require really fast decisions from you and you're not a fast type ten of pentacles again uh, inside you such a fear to lose money that's insane it's like you know when you when they are asking you about decision should we order pizza for you too you afraid that you won't like or won't eat or it won't be good or it will be delivered not as hot as you like to eat uh, all this you know on, on a very simple decision like you you can't make um even simplest decision because you find in so many buts on each and every life decision a decision to simply go and drink water in order to maintain water balance you will be thinking you know like uh, should i drink from a cup or from a glass or from a bottle should i drink um, this water or water of this brand or that brand um, should it be hot or cold or average temperature of this water and such a simple decision simply go drink water uh, takes you so crazily long <laughs> but when people around you like ah you're gonna drink this this water with with um, 
guess what or something you might not even like it or want it but because they asking you to to take quick decision you taking it and then you facing consequences and you start thinking better i said no or better i said yes and this by such behavior you put in in danger you questioning your intuition like <laughs> what a people here really it's insane I'm, I'm getting strong vibe of water and air in this group of people that's insane primary elements like you wear it so and you have this chaos which air haven't they had and even simplest decision like drink water in order to maintain water balance balance so either you will be drinking something fast what other people offering you while you thinking which brand of water you should drink should it be hot beverage or cold beverage should it be blah 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 while you processing this everything in your brain there is a person in front of you who just giving you a glass of some sort of fanta i don't know uh, instead of water and you drinking it and later you thinking better i would go and drink water than drinking this beverage and, <laughs> and you stop trusting your intuition because you're doing things which are harmful to you under the influence of other people and your chaos in your head you're being such a slow-minded person and I can write entire character about such people. I mean, like, really, guys, that's insane. Okay, how how can we help? How can we help your intuition to blossom? Or what can help your intuition? What can help your intuition, guys? From group number one, <laughs> you you driving me crazy. <laughs> okay good luck go with the flow stop questioning and stop being uh, this energy as well about stop being a pawn in someone else game and this stop dumping responsibility on your friends it's like uh guys go into some sort of sauna and tell them okay let, let's go to sauna and call bitches or call strippers or call whatsoever and some guy who is you know like this type of uh not not a cheater type but a sort of uh, they they decided and what can i do and same way you behaving in your life they decided and what can i do no darling start uh, taking full responsibility for your own life and if you uh drink beverage which your friend glass of beverage which your friend offered you instead of healthy water then start taking this as it's not friend popped up in a time when i needed to something to drink and it happened itself no it's i decided to take this glass of beverage from him or her that's only your responsibility but you dumping responsibility on others start on others start taking responsibility for your own life and your own decisions it's not your mother decided that you should um, wear uh, this dress to job interview and that's why you failed it. That's your own laziness and uh, being slow-minded that you was not able to decide which dress you should prepare because you were thinking about option 1, option 2, option 20. You were thinking but actually not preparing any of these options. And then mom entered your room and said, look, I cleaned and ironed the dress for tomorrow. You can wear it. And you said, aha, and you keep thinking about what you should wear. But in the morning, when you wake up, finally realizing that you haven't choose yet, you decided to okay, let me wear what my mom said for me here. 
and went to your interview and it was Lucy and you blaming it all on your mom that I, I took this decision because my mom prepared it and I maybe I didn't want to make her upset but you blaming that you lost this chance on your mom instead of telling yourself yes I'm lazy at home and I wasn't able to choose outfit for tomorrow so I used my mom's labor and I failed that's it start taking start being responsible guys finally here please okay what you should change to help your intuition to develop what you should change to help your intuition to to develop okay what you should change yeah, this is hesitant and stop being in this in this state of mind like I want this pentacle and I want this pentacle too I want them I want to have them both of them both of them no only one ass can sit on one chair don't try to sit with your ass on two chairs okay or you end up on the floor sooner or later you're gonna end up on the floor <laughs> stop being in this energy like i want this cake and i want this cheesecake but i gonna throw up if i if i eat them all you know like no 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 you can have only one and you know like make peace with this already you can't have these two ways whatsoever you have it in your life you can't have it both ways guys okay what you should do to unblock your intuition what you should do to unblock your intuition holy lords you should do to unblock chariot move 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 more of movement and less of laying on the sofa move do sports i don't know do some something where you you need to learn to to choose a direction i don't know learn how to drive a vehicle and you know when you're a driver um, you you get in better connection with your intuition uh, at the beginning it's very very difficult you know you fall focused uh, when you drive and you all concentrated you all focused you need constantly to recall what this sign means what this what i need to press here um, learn how to drive a vehicle guys those who have chosen this, this is gonna help you to develop your intuition and especially in this process of decisions decision making it's gonna help you learn how to drive a vehicle this should be cars this should be a motorbike but i wouldn't recommend motorbike guys here because it's dangerous sort of sport learn how to drive car or a uh, simplest one learn how to drive bicycle okay because you need uh, when you're driving a bicycle you need to perform this sort of balance you know you need to learn how to balance things so it's either car either um, driving a bicycle choose what's up to you both gonna be helpful equally helpful see even i'm giving you a choice you need to choose between <laughs> what you're gonna drive and let me know in the comments because stop being this hesitant person who doesn't know what he or she wants you need to learn how to drive definitely bicycle or car motorbike i wouldn't say not with your slow reactions no 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 car is good bicycle good for nature and good for physical health as well just insane energies and then say in insane group very insane group three and two rabbits again you can chase two rabbits at the same time, there is a Russian proverb about this. Anyway, guys, I hope it was helpful. It's not su supposed to be, you know, sugar co coating video. It's, ah, you should connect to oh, spirits, smile to higher, manifest better intuition. I'm not this sort of reader. I'm sorry, I'm not an actress here. 
uh, I'm not a reader with energies number two. So we're not smiling to higher here. Uh, I'm telling you what to do in real 3D world. Go and learn how to drive. Group number one. Okay. Group number two. <laughs> Let's deal with your energies. I hope for a shift in energies. Because group number one irritated me a lot. <laughs> Group number one, so and so undecisive. So my god, undecisive. Let's ask how good your intuition is working. How good you able to hear your intuition connection. You hearing your intuition. Is your intuition working good? Like helpful people no guys you have no intuition you but instead you prefer to go to all sort of people uh, with all sort of life experiences and ask them for an advice you don't trust your intuition you're not connected with your own intuition what you connected with was pick a card readers with readers with your parents with your grandparents with your dog you even if you live in alone you're gonna ask your cat or dog what you should do even to such extent, if you don't have people around, you're gonna... I knew such people, I had similar clients. Like, uh, if if my cat will come into a room, uh, stepping from left feet, then I should go on this date. And if my cat enter room from the right feet, I should say him no and decline his invitation. This type of person you are, you're not listening to your intuition that at all it's not working. But instead, all sort of helpful people, um, you're going to ask your mom, you're going to ask your sister, you're going to ask your brother, you're going to ask your father, get uh, five similar or different opinions and only then you're going to act. Okay, what's blocking your intuition? <laughs> Room number two. Why are we not having so far people with red intuition here? My God. What's blocking your intuition here? Group two. Group two. What's blocking your intuition here? King of Pentacles, you too much realistic. You're too logical. Your logic blocking. You simply don't believe in intuition. Guys, I don't know what you're doing at my channel. <laughs> Uh, you put logic about intuition in all cases and for all cases you sort of tell it look i trust in logic more than in intuition let's blog in willingly willingly with your own hands you're blocking your intuition guys who have chosen this group and okay external influences on your intuition let's see external influences chariot and you trust authority you trust authorities here you trust in you so, so if weather forecast said it's gonna be sunny tomorrow you're gonna go out without an umbrella even if your intuition yelling and screaming that you should take an umbrella with yourself maybe because uh, your boss uh, will say, let's go to other city and, and visit our customers. And in other cities, there will be a rain. And your intuition trying to whisper you something. Take umbrella, take umbrella, take umbrella, take umbrella with yourself. Grab it, grab it, grab it. It might be even in your bag. But you're taking it out because uh, uh, someone promised you sunny day. You're taking it out saying, I don't need it. Uh, external you you trust authorities if bank says you we have this and this and this and this we're very trustworthy and blah 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 you're gonna trust your money uh, to this bank even though your intuition talent that there is something fishy about this bank you might lose all your money but you're gonna believe in some sort of reports you're gonna go check something some trust index and so on whatsoever you prefer to to believe in, in something official in a paper and unless it's written on a paper you're not taking it like you're not taking it unless it's written on a paper 
it's like you know when a person can come to you and say i have recommendations from uh my grandma which was best friend with your grandma and blah 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 i'm asking for your help unless you have this written proofs of that your grandma was a friend with his grandma or something like this you you're not taking it even though this person might know everything about your grandma something you know like very um intimate things which uh, which kept within family uh anyway you you you're not gonna believe in this unless you have some paper you're a paper person here group number two you believe in certificates you believe in diplomas you believe in uh all sort of orders printed uh, and this you believe you you are a paper person as i said okay <laughs> one group crazy than another what why i decided this evening to to do this reading <sighs> okay <laughs> what is able to help your intuition okay ah what what inside you what inside you pro preventing you from connecting to your intuition what inside you prevents you from connecting to your intuition three of swords broken heart broken heart there maybe were you know some sort of clearly trust issues when you maybe an early early age you believed that this is my twin flame soulmate whatsoever shit you definitely should check my videos about twin flames i said this is it that's this person and you trusted this person you trusted this person so desperately that even when people were uh showing your written proofs of this person cheating or um black scheming um something like this or gossiping behind your back when when people were showing you like literal proofs which you only believe you still was in a denial and then it hit it you and then you decided yeah these people with this written someone used your credit of trust trust credit and that's why you disconnected completely from in, from your intuition you lost faith in your intuition because of this betrayal you believed this person when uh, even all the people were sort of look with whom you deal in this person is um criminal this person is a liar this person is womanizer they were showing you proofs written proofs you decided not to believe them but believe your what you call a uh, heart but you know heart is related with our intuition you made this choice you suffered of this and after this experience you decided no from now on i don't uh, trust my emotions i'm not letting a uh, heart taking you know to take on i i believe in written proofs because there were too many regrets that, that you didn't trust it earlier that decision was was taken this is e inner you know what disconnects you from trust issues serious trust issues which were on, in relationship on personal social sort of relationships this might be betrayal of the best friend this might be betrayal of lover <sighs> trust issues um disconnecting you work on trust issues and it's gonna help you to connect uh again with your intuition okay what can help you <laughs> what can help your intuition okay what can help you to to develop your intuition or reconnect with your intuition in your case uh, what can help you to reconnect with your intuition what a pops. trust in divine guidance and ability you know to see things which are unnoticed and such things you can only um see with your heart uh, for example, if one person is smiling at you, um, but you feel on like something, something going on, something happened to this person, but person, no, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm okay, I'm fine. Uh, you prefer to choose, uh, you prefer to believe in words, not in what you feel about this person. That this person is sad and upset and this everything. you're losing so many 
so many bright opportunities in your life because of this, because you disconnected with your intuition. So many opportunities you're losing here. You constantly look back in the past. Whenever this trust is occurred, you constantly looking back on this. And this prevents you from connecting to your intuition again. Okay, next question here, guys. What you should change to develop your intuition? Materialistic approach to the world. Again, you a person of a paper, of a written proofs. Your person of a contract, your person of money, finances, logic, change this. Start believing more in feelings. Start believing more in cups. At least start seeing this full cup waiting for you. Okay. What can you do to unblock your intuition? Again, lovers. Trust issues. It's sending us back to building a relationship based on trust, on feelings. That's an amazing case, guys, here. Lovers. What can you do to unblock your intuition? Let your feelings in. Listen to your feelings. You should become more empathetic. And serious trust issues here. Okay, 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 okay. Group two, that's it. Let me know in, in the comments what had happened that blocked your intuition so much. And we are moving to the group now. Before with this beautiful, adorable house on a card. Let's ask how good your intuition is working. Okay, how good. Are you connected with your intuition? Are you listening to your intuition? Are you connected? Are you listening to your intuition? Is your intuition working good? Yes, finally. Whew, relief, guys, here. Okay, your intuition group number three. It's working good. So I hope here we will have different sort of energies. Okay, question number one. Question number one. Any blockages? Even though it's working good, we're gonna check. Is there any blockages should be removed? Oh, it's clear. A magician, no blockages. Guys, here, no blockages. Your intuition work and working perfect, just perfect. And with this magician card, woof, strong light. Okay. Any external influences in your intuition? External influences. What, you know, external influences, what or who can make it stronger or weaker within? And here, 10 of wands. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> Here's quite interesting situation. I'm, I'm sensing with this card. Like, you might have some some sort of esoteric abilities, gifts. Let, let's call it being clairvoyant or being psychic or just having perfect good intuition. It's all different. Uh, I wish to make a video for you about differences, psychic, clairvoyant, what sort of differences, and just a strong intuition. Uh, but you see this, you see your intuition as a heavy burden. I mean, like, not only you, like other people. I'm getting like you sensing very good some bad things coming. And you tell to other people about this. That look, this and that gonna happen if you do this and that. So you sort of giving free advices to people, giving free knowledge to them. And you giving this knowledge about uh, not very positive events. That's why people telling you sort of, shut up. <laughs> you, you again, you know, like this crook, you made your car, car. And... 
you know, sort of you might, the belief as of people believes that you have like black eye or dark eye and uh, evil eye, yeah, evil eye. As of people believe that you have and that you intentionally manifest in bad events for them. Well, you just you just sharing what you sensing because your intuition is working so good. You just sharing with them that look, I feel this is not the right decision for you, and then it appeared to be not the right decision. But people are blaming you because they didn't pay you money for advice. You just gave it because your intuition is working good. But people blaming you, blaming all these ten ones on you. You know, like this is sort of husband on whom wife cheated uh symbolical representation you know they blaming everything on you like oh like you blame gold or some scapegoat yeah you scapegoat for for other people when something bad is happening just because you predicted it you sensed it you you said it finally and and it's your fault <laughs> that's external like other people truly believe that you have evil eye that you have evil eye okay what inside you blocking your intuition what inside you might be blocking your intuition so here you understand don't don't give people free advices okay don't give people free advices um, even though you wish the best for them you know but never free knowledge never appreciated i'm seeing this at my channel i'm sharing so much of free knowledge um and useful one not like other esoteric like eh, this beautiful money can do money manifest money 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 and she like monkey sitting 30 minutes in a row manifesting something with you and then you get in next day three dollars and you start believing in this uh, crap. Uh, what I'm sharing, I'm sharing very thoughtful esoteric knowledge. But who appreciate this? That's why I advise for you, don't share. <laughs> if you don't want to be blamed yet. Okay, here we go. Mm, here we go. This is the nest. What inside you blocking your intuition? You're not confident enough. You're not confident enough. Well, like you tell her, no, 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 no. Some people think that you might make a really good psychic or terror reader or something. They come in approaching you for advice and telling you when you will start charging money for your gift. But you're not confident that you uh, can charge other people for your advices. You're not confident about this. Like, here's, here's magician with the wand. Here's similar image. And with a pentacle, but this is a magician card. And this is page of pentacles card. So you don't believe that you are this powerful magician. You prefer to constantly, you know, diminish yourself, sort of. No, no, it's not me. I can charge other people for my advices even though they come true. that's within you start start charging money <laughs> that's simple what's blocking from inside you're not that confident about your abilities yet okay next 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 um, what can help your intuition what can help actually tower tower moment Whatsoever lifestyle, career, whatsoever you have right now, it should be all destroyed, removed, and rebuilt from the scratch again. And it should be rebuilt around your esoteric abilities here, guys. Brand new life. Brand new life can help your intuition. Yeah. Brand new life is brand new career at the brand new house can help your intuition yeah to blossom 
What do you need to change to help your intuition to develop and to ascend it to a new level? Start again, becoming a professional to a reader, becoming a star, becoming a professional in this field, becoming a magician. Okay, because so, you have a gift. Here's clearly, you know, straightforward. Okay. Mm. And what you can do to unblock your intuition uh, since your intuition is working super well but in a way let's petition this question queen of swords you have enough of clarity as i said it's, it's already working clear it's already working clear but it's working only in your head it's not monetized but it should be it must be monetized and everything should be built around it and your professionalism like you have serious talent here for for this field i mean like tarot stuff and things okay guys group group number three future esoterics let me know in the com in the comments below let let's stay connected those who have chosen this group and we're moving to the last but not least sweet one bouquet flower bouquet okay and question for you is your intuition working good yes no something else is your intuition working good is your intuition working good or great is your intuition working good get more information <laughs> oh guys mm. Well, to some extent, um, to some extent, you believe in intuition, and but you can't get answers through meditation, like uh, even through quick uh, meditation when you need to make a fast decision. You sort of closing your eyes for one minute and you listen into your body, and you listen into your intuition within your body, how your body reacts. This is really quick and fast method to understand. You don't need cards. But in your case, you if you need to take important decision, uh, you will go maybe uh, make this fortune telling on a coffee. Uh, maybe will pull some cards for yourself. So you need some extra tools to connect to your intuition. <laughs> Here you, you can't hear it. You... you not able to to hear it to distinguish to encrypt signals without external tools here okay let's ask a question next one about what's blocking your intuition because definitely blockages here get more information you're always trying to get more information like if you did watch one reading you will go and watch another reading on the same topic you don't you're not connected with your intuition what's blocking knight of wands and one more let's say passion sometimes you're so blindfolded you're so blindfolded by your desires like i want it and i want it and that's it and you not listen into your intuition is it good for you is it bad for you you just go in acting upon what you want at the moment you're living in the moment not thinking of uh, about consequences of so it's blocking yeah you're a slave of your own feelings as i said of your own emotions you personally you're a slave of your own emotion of your own emotions and since your emotions not supported by intuition what we can do <laughs> you you have sort of messy life <laughs> okay uh, external influence over your intuition here external influences justice wow as a people judging you so much here they put you in the frames or you should uh, obey and behave according to rules but it's very difficult for you to make because you're a very passionate person and uh, this sort of person not always respect rules and everything which is required from you sort of and again, this is very karmic card. External influence here is pure karma and even karma of your past lives here. So I would recommend you to, to go check 
some sort of uh, past lives, uh, past life karma, uh, pick a card, readings, um, make right conclusions. Because I'm seeing a, an exact moment of, of time. What are you experiencing now in, in your life? Whatsoever judgments, gossips by other people. But I'm seeing judgments more like other people judging you. And judging your decisions. Judging you being over emotional. Judging you really hard here. Like society judging you, or judging you for wearing mask and uh, understanding that you're this passionate person, and uh, if you trying to follow rules, they they sensing that sort of false and that you're wearing mask, and again judging you, so you can't be good to them. When you behave as you behave, you're not good, and when you're trying to behave as they want, you're not good as well, because this time you sort of a liar of wearing mask and they constantly dissatisfied with you but here is the same a strong influence something karmic from past life going on in your life now external um, influences which prevents you from connecting to your intuition and an internal level you're too much busy with some sort of money issues financial problems and everything is sort of keeping you distracted job routine and this is everything when you're so distracted from your own intuition like okay what can help your intuition can help moving moving changing uh job changing location where you live and simply moving somewhere to the new city new town and starting something from a blank list because here where you are at the moment something really karmic is going on and i'm seeing a lot of judgments about you maybe from your co-workers maybe some of you might even go through trial you need to move you need to change job, you need to change house, you need to move, and this is gonna help. What else here? What you should change to improve your intuition? What you should change to improve? This person again acting wearing mask to please someone, pretending to be someone who she really isn't. Okay, this person. She's a person who wearing mask. And in your current situation, other people seeing you like this. Like a deceiver. Like a liar. This is a liar vibe. When in fact, you are not a liar. You're just a very passionate person. Who's trying to hold their horses and act to fit into the society rules where they found themselves in whatever society you found yourself right now and work at neighbors and advice only one advice for move physically move if it's your neighbors thinking that you're a liar and dishonest person and everything and looking at you with some sort of judgment change apartment change house if it's at work change your place move okay and what can you do to unblock your intuition unblock your intuition what can you do to unblock your intuition Completely changing your life, death, transformation, transform. You pull in, um, you, you want these changes to come, but you pull in, you sort of postponing these changes for tomorrow again and again and again. You uh, sort of telling yourself, okay, I will later search for a new job, okay, I will later search for a new apartment. Transform. It's time to transform. Does it's it's great changes. That's breaking up with the past. This is a 
beginning of new life cycle you should need to embrace new new people new job new place new friends even but you might seem like you're losing something really valuable and important like you i'm getting resistance vibe from you resistance to this change but this change can come painfully if you will keep postponing these changes there they might force you with a great pain through great pain because you're not learning this lesson peacefully that you need to completely change your life and lifestyle from what you're living now there might be as i said there might be trial or something which push you into these changes you know like if you will keep attending this job if you will keep um being friends with these people who judging you behind your back but no guys it's, it's time to start brand new life meet brand new people start right now what's the problem here quite interesting reading here even for group number four it wasn't even that much about intuition but like a lot of distractions in your life distractions which are guiding you to fresh start guiding in the moment because later on with this karmic card they will start kicking you in this direction they will be kicking punching you in this day because you're not walking willingly in this direction they want this is book at card your avatar let me check flowers card of luck you will receive an invitation a present or going to get engaged <laughs> isn't it beautiful anyway it's card of luck start believing in your own luck and starting your life luckier one let's say okay guys i really hope it was helpful let me know in the comments below okay and if you have suggestions for the next readings drop them all in comment box here i will check maybe i will make maybe i will not i will see because i'm very moody person so guys um don't forget to subscribe yeah i just mentioned it for, for, for the first time in this video <laughs> okay guys hit subscribe button check my other playlist and hope to see you in my other videos bye bye